Hey you guys, it's Whitney Janice here. I am about to do some of the prep work for um, our next DIY Valentine's Day Dollar Tree craft video. And what we have right here, what you're looking at is the love sign that can be picked up from Dollar Tree and some of these super cute pink heart shaped picks, as well as a glass vase right there. And as you can see, I have some of the Rust-Oleum high gloss spray paint to go on the vase because I want it to be super glossy and then we have the same Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint for the side and for the hearts. So I'm going to do this in hopes that it will dry before Ariana gets home that way we can get right to crafting. Hey y'all welcome back to my channel it is Whitney Janice here and as you can see I've got Ariana with me. She just got home from school, but through this week, we've been brainstorming ideas and looking at different things on Pinterest to bring to you guys three more super cute, very affordable Valentine's Day Dollar Tree crafts. So you can do these crafts that we're about to show you with mostly things from the Dollar Tree, and Ariana's gonna be doing most of the work. I'm gonna just be offering my help and assistance to her to let her know like what we're gonna be doing and that we're gonna collaborate on different ideas. So if you guys want to see the three new crafts that we came up with and how we did it, then please stay tuned to the end of this video. Let's get right into it. And we picked up some of these branches literally from right outside of our house. Um, it not, adds a nice natural element, which is just very farmhouse and very chic. So what Ariana has done is just go ahead and tell them what you did or you can just explain it to them. So I had these red hearts and I just glued them to this tree branch which is real pretty and I really like how it looks and yeah so the next thing I was going to do is take this jute wire it's fine it's rope this jute rope and just swing this around here and tie a bow yeah if you want you could do a bow or you can tie it all the way around however you think it looks best and you can do how you want it um i think this looks really pretty and like my mom said it looks really farmhousey which is really pretty <laughs> okay all right so this is the first diy and we're done it's that simple okay y'all so for the second diy what you're gonna need is this heart shaped wreath form this is the heart picks that we painted white earlier or that y'all seen me paint white the love sign that i painted white and also the burlap that i got from walmart this is five and a half by 30 i believe so you get a lot of bang for your buck this was only three dollars y'all probably hear a day in the background she is watching her show waiting for her daddy to get home um but this is optional this is just the burlap ribbon with lace on it from the dollar tree also you're going to need some floral wire hot glue gun and scissors so i'm going to instruct ariana on how to do this and then she's going to follow my lead so what you're going to do is put this burlap in between the first and second wire, I guess is how you would call it or what you would call it. Um, you're going to go back about an inch and we're going to take some of this floral wire and just cut a piece off to tie it. So we're going to bunch it, pull it through and we're going to attach it to this right here so it stays nice and secure and just go ahead and tie it and tie it and keep tying it on the back just so it stays again nice and secure while we are bunching up our wreath i'm going to go ahead and cut that excess off and what i'm going to do is Take it like this and bunch it up, just like that. Just like so. So you're gonna measure it just a little bit. I'm you doing like the length of the wreath form and then bunch it up and hold it. You're gonna do the same thing. Take it like this, stretch it out, bunch it up and hold it. And you might have to fix your burlap a little bit cause mine was getting stuck on the wreath form. But you're gonna take some 
bunch it and hold it and you're gonna get super fast at this like the first time I seen um, the Southern Girl Cans video, I was like, how is she doing that? But now you can just do it that much quicker. I'm just going to do it as far um, as this part right here till I get to that. And then I'm going to let Ariana take over. But you're going to pull it like this and bunch it and hold it. And I feel like that's enough for this. Um, if you can see the wire through here, don't worry about that because what we're going to do is just fluff it and pinch it and move it around. So Ari, um, I'm gonna let you go ahead and take over, but when you get to this part, you do not have to cut your burlap. So go ahead and do as I showed you. You're gonna take it through like this and bunch it and hold it. And then go all the way through. We're gonna go all the way around. Ariana's taking over for me now since she got her little tutorial in. Good job, Ari. Thank you. I'm going to help you unroll that a little bit so you have some more space. Good job. That looks really nice. Make sure that it's closed like all the way like that and then do it like that, okay? Good job. And once it gets to be a little too much for your hands to hold, then we can just move on to the next one. But fit as much in as you can so it can stay nice and fluffy and full. Because we want this to be a very nice wreath. We're gonna put this on our other door. We have two doors, so we're gonna put this on our back door, I believe. So at this point, I'm going to just go ahead and cut the camera and then we'll show you guys like what it looks like next. So we have finished gluing these hearts down and finished fluffing this. So now I'm going to take this that my mom cut, this burlap ribbon, and now I'm just going to glue a straight flat line. And now I am going to take this, fold it together, and I do not want to burn my hands, so I'm just going to do this. And then boom, done. Now I'm going to take another flat line and I'm just gonna glue it whatever you think it is best right here I think it's really pretty so now I'm just going to fluff it out a little bit so it can blend in I think this looks really pretty and yeah we only had enough time to do two DIYs today I ran out of time and the third DIY was just taking too long and my kids were ready for dinner so I had to you know put a stop to that one and do it in a separate video so I will bring that to y'all sometime next week um, this is how everything turned out. It looks so, so cute. I'm very impressed with how Ariana was able to do this, mostly by herself. The only thing I helped her with was, you know, painting everything that you see white, white. Also, if you do not like those red hearts for um, the, the vase right there, you can always put something else on the branches or you can paint them white if you want these two to kind of go together. But we like the pop of color, which is why we chose it. And then also this wreath is just very impressive. I'm super impressed and pleased with how this turned out. She did such an amazing job to be nine years old. Hey you guys, before ending this video, I just wanted to come on camera and show you what I did with my last three DIYs from the last video. If you missed that video, I can link it down below or just go back and look for it. But anyways, there on my husband's side of the bed is the book-shaped heart that we made. Straight ahead, I made an identical heart-shaped wall sconce with the pink roses. And then over there on my side, you can see the floral centerpiece that we made. And also, if you just look around my bedroom, which I don't mind y'all seeing this, but just look around my bedroom. It is just very gray, very washed out, very monotone, and... Those pink roses really do just brighten up the space. They, you know, add a nice pop of color to my bedroom. And it's just very cute, very festive for Valentine's Day. I like to keep my decorations very simplistic, very minimalistic. And this is a great way to do it, very affordable. And I hope you guys enjoy my videos. Please give a huge thumbs up if you like this video. And please subscribe to the channel before you leave. I will catch you guys in my next one. Thank you so, so much for your support.